Hello and good evening to you, Ready Cat. How are you? I'm just really enjoying listening to the soothing sounds of Minecraft. I don't know if that ping just came through off my desktop. Probably. It's very noisy. What's going on now? Yeah, I love the sounds of the tunes. Oh! We seem to have gone a little bit upbeat. It's obviously time to stream. It must be. And check out my bling. Check out my gear. Whoop, whoop. You thought it was your PC. <laughs> yeah, I need to find a way to like, turn off the notification type stuff. Hello to you, my dear Christ, my dearest Twitch watcher. <laughs> How the devil are you? you? You like the bling? Yeah, look at the, look at this. I've got a little um, thingy what sits on the side of my head, but I can't turn to show them. Gee, a little bit frustrating. And sadly, the uh, the sword has um, not been added to the the data pack yet. Not quite yet. Uh, Look, uh, I'll sh show you my back. Look. See? Pretty? Pretty? My idea was to just add just a little bit of gold uh, or iron or diamonds into the texture each time without it going too far. Um, but yeah, keep that sort of medieval look to it. And I'm loving the purple glow that it gives when it's like this. Right, where's my notes? I got some sticky notes here on my screen and they, they keep like, what do you mean loading sticky notes? That's not an appropriate answer. Hang on, let's, oh, load it. Stream fail already. 
One PJC is trying to drive the computer now. Let's have another go. It's probably because I lost my internet connection a little while ago. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so. Oh. That's not very good. I lost all my notes that I had. Notes list. There we go. Where are we? Uh, that one, please. Right. Because I, I make some notes before I stream and stuff, just so I've got some stuff to talk about. That wasn't very professional. Then it all just fell off the screen. But there we go. That's that sorted. Hello again. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties. There's always some. Speaking of technical difficulties, uh, I can't remember who was here last time, but this thing, the cobblestone generator, has um, been running flat out, and I left it running after the stream ended last time. I added a switch on the side here. Is the music a bit loud, or is that me? I'm just going to check that I've actually... Everything's going wrong tonight. What's going on? I've got the audio going to the right device. Yeah. It's a bit loud. It's fine, is it? Okay, that's cool. Yep, so I made a little little trapdoor window here so we could see it running. There we go. Oh no! The heck is that? My god! Did you see that? Holy poop! There was a creeper in the machinery! Oh my god, that was scary! How did he get in there? Ah! Oh no, that's that. Uh oh! Oh, well. The, st the stream started well. That, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little bit ominous with the whole sound and uh, bits and pieces. Do you know what? That's run for hours up there without any problems. I switch it on and it breaks within 30 seconds. What the heck happened up there? Oh, it looks like the, um, the thingy once it got bumped off. Okay, we're going to go up there and have a look. So anyway, what I was about to say was... This needed a little bit of an upgrade. So... I had to change the, the... Where is it? They're in there. I took that down to five from six. Just made it run a little bit smoother. How did a creeper get in there without dying? That's that's weird. Okay. Um, yeah, the explosions, you may remember last time, were causing redstone to pop off and bits of problems and stuff like that. And I came over here to try and repair some of that. I haven't got an easy way up from here. But I was also finding that the pistons were in this row here, facing that way. And occasionally these blocks were being blown up by one of the TNT. And then the second one would blow up the piston because it was in this location here, you see. So I basically had to come in here and move the whole thing back one. Which uh, didn't look pretty, but yeah. It, that was that was a thing. Creepers don't crown, cr drown it seems. No, not in red, not in uh, lava anyway. Right, so we we got to get up there and have a look, see what happened. Up we go, up we go, doink. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit scary. Glad we only put the one through. Could have had all sorts of explosions going on up here. Right, let's have a look what happened. It would appear the mine car... Oop! Stuck on the sticky. Oh, that was the other thing I did. I, I added a couple more repeaters up here. A bit longer time delay. Um, I don't think that should have caused a problem. Because, to be honest, it would have... Hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think this might be a little bit out of commission for now. I need to get in there and remove that mine car, and then I need to rebuild this over one. 
and get it going again because if I put the minecart straight on there it will set the TNT off to explode in that location so I think for now I, I will like break the TNT uh, the, the redstone line just so that we don't accidentally set it off at any point because that would be pretty uh, destructive yes that's that's not going to be pretty I don't know what happened there okay I'll keep that safe that'll remind me to fix that later break the TNT and place it again after well they say you can do that but you can't because as soon as you place the T the the minecart on the detector rail what happens is it then powers the slime block if you break the TNT first and then place it there it still gets a block update from the slime so it sets it off so the whole idea of having this L-shaped piece of stuff forward one is that when this moves forward and slides the slime block over the top of the TNT it effectively the TNT doesn't notice and when it gets pulled back it doesn't notice either because it thinks it's just like sitting where it was and it's only when it moves forward that the TNT gets like a an update is it forward or backwards anyway when it moves I think one of them breaks and it causes the TNT to do a, a block update Something like that. Can't you put the minecart on without the TNT in place? The TNT, or it still get the signal. Yeah, it'll still get the signal if you put the TNT thereafter. All I have to do is break these three slime blocks, grab another piece of coral, and then rebuild this block on the side of the wall here, down one. Shall I? Shall I do it? Should we do it now? Okay. Let Let's do it now. We might as well. Let's let's be brave. Oh, that was a stupid idea, wasn't it? You realise what I've just done, don't you? I've now stood on this and I can't get up. Right. Give me that. Right. Uh, this we're going to lose. Don't get any choice about that. Now, the TNT, I believe I can... No, can't jump. Look. Right, grab the TNT, put that out of the way. Oh no, there was a bit of a bit of a honey failure down there as well. Two. I wonder whether the explosion down there was enough to cause a, a blast up here. Oops, oh dear. Oh, it's all falling apart. Right, let's grab them. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down here and grab these. And we'll do a bit of a, a repair while we're here. That'll do. Let's drop down in the water because I've got to go and get some more coral anyway. Oop. How was I supposed to get out of here? Did no one build an exit? Well, that wasn't very clever, was it? Oh, no. Now, my water stream's broken. Oh, for God's sake. It's going to be one of... It's going to be one of those streams, isn't it? You can tell straight away that things are not going to go well. Goodness sake. Right, okay. Oh, I'm just going off the edge. Don't care. Right. Put it up there. What do we want? Coral. Silk touch it. Thought I heard something then. So how is everybody? It feels like ages since I spoke to you all. <laughs> big brain zero, not so big brain moments too. Yeah. That's about normal for me. And we're surprised. 
Here we go. Whee! Right. Now we want the funky brain coral, don't we? This stuff. I think, I think it's that one. I think that's the white one. Let's have a look. What's this? Horn coral fat. Oh no. I think I wanted the brain one. Because we said it'd be like good for my brain in the game. Where'd that go? Did I get that one? Brain. There we go. Up. Oh. Swim. Forward. There we go. Confirmed your holidays with a new employer. Ooh. Is this the uh, the the what you're hoping will be your temporary employer? Just gonna have a fish. I had a uh, interview the other day. Um, not completely sure. I was confident about it when I came out, but now I've had time to think about it. I'm not sure whether they're gonna offer me a job now. Where did that hole come from? When was there a hole in here? What's been going on on here? That's a bit weird. Setting my own craft server up. Oh, you'd be very excited to know that I uh, recorded a video all about that today. The information is slowly being collected together for me to do that. Have I got everything? I have my brain coral. Right. Aha! Nearly got run over. Um, where's the way up? It's over here, isn't it? Eep. Up. Up. Apparently my new armour is not making me any more intelligent. Oop. Need a brain add-on. Right, there we go. Let's get up here like this. Now, I'm going to obviously drop down again, aren't I? It's, it's going to be a thing. Um, I think I can... Can I put this? Oh, that's poop. Up! Don't say anything. Nobody say anything. Right, okay. I, w I wanted to do that. That was, that was a test. I saw it was getting dark and I needed to come and sleep. Like, it's fine. Fine, just came down here to sleep. Good thing I'm just helping and not playing for the host. <laughs> Oh dear. Mon, it's like you haven't played Minecraft for about a week. What is going on? Mind you, you heard me derping in my video earlier. My sneak peeks. And right, here we go. Right, we're up here now. Right, okay. Right, now. Let's not knock that minecart off in the process and have to repair two of these. Right. Uh, so we want some of that there like that and they're gonna move back a bit and they're gonna break that one and I got to put one underneath I gotta get down there anyway haven't I I was hoping to avoid falling down on this but I'm not gonna get a choice okay can I crouch and reach that one? Oh yeah what oh no We've lost a honey block somewhere. Let's go and get a new one of them. Okay. It's fine. Fine, it's no problem. We can do this. Right, how am I going to get that underneath there? Because I can't read. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to have to go down and up again, aren't I? I've got the minecart on me. I have. Let's put that up there. Oh, look at that. That was skill. See, that's lit up now. Oh, gosh. A flying machine and those explode five times on me before I can make them work. <laughs> well, this thing was running for a few hours quite happily. And then the minecart popped off. So we're just in the process of um, 
doing a uh, minor repair, or say. Uh, TNT not required. No, it tends to break itself without the TNT. That's that's also very true. Right, I'm going to have to go down one, so I'm going to break this one. And I'm going to stick it there. So that would be a good thing. That there. Uh, that one. There. Right. Where's my brain? There's my brain. Right, that... Oh. Can't move out the way of my brain now. Can I? Oh dear, I don't want to sneak over the edge of that. What's the betting I'm going to fall off if I sneak? Can I put that there? Oh, I can. That's all right. TNT. Right, this is either going to work or I'm going to blow up. It's not flashing. I'm happy. Okay. Let's. <laughs> okay, got to go work on the server. Have a nice day. Oh, Chris, you're leaving me. Okay. See you later, mate. <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, right, now, got to get down now. Um, and then I've got to come up here and prime this thing. And stick the redstone back in. Oh. I can't believe that didn't update my water. I'm really gutted about that. I'm going to lose blocks there now. And something else I need to do is I seriously need to build a ladder off the site here. So that I don't keep falling off and taking damage for it. Right, what did I come down here for? Slime block. Have we got any over here? Nope. No, you ain't got any, have your mushroom? Nope. Oop. Right, slime block. Uh, slime block? Slime block. Have I got any? Nope. Right, let's go to the, the farm. Do, 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 do. So has anyone done anything exciting Minecraft related? Why am I going this way? That's not where it is. Oh. I quite enjoyed doing my little video today. Don't you mean honey? Uh, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> and I'm going in all the wrong places. One of them. That's what we want. One of them close that one of them I really wish I had the replay mod to find out where that creeper had come from I have to examine the machine I think there's a hole inside it and he like cr climbed inside while I wasn't looking have I got everything I want I've got that I've got the I got the I got the redstone right don't I mean the honey don't I mean the honey I've got the honey I've got the honey, mummy. Here we go. Working the whole day through. Uh, exciting. I'm making a monochrome sad town. Oh, I just rage quit on an item sorter <laughs> because my items keep snapping back to the chest. I removed them from. Oh, I see. Yeah, there could be a fiddly little things. Right. Uh, oh, no. I want to be around this one. What did I come here for? Oh, yeah. Slime block. It's not slime block. It's a honey block. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's got to go in. There. Like that. That's it. Carefully positioned. Right. <laughs> oh. Right. Now. Machine needs to be primed, which means that doing it is going to set that one off. I don't have anything in the way of a button. Eh, whatever. Right, that set that one off. And it's... Ah! Why is it not pushed forward? Ah, because that one still pushed forward. Oopsie. Oh, this could be interesting. Eh -eh. I did that for too long and it didn't... Oh no, I've lost my TNT! Oh no! The TNT bit pooped off. 
Oh. Goodness, mate. It's because I pressed... Because... Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, let's try not to land on the one block down there that's not water. Oh, okay. Fine. Just blow a hole in my thing. Anyone ever feel like this is going so well today? Uh, TNT. Right. I've got some gunpowder. <laughs> you know what? I was going to do some building tonight. Look, look at the amount of coal I've made. Right. And look. Look at how much stone I collected from that thing that was working. Look. Even these are full up. Look. It's gone nuts. What's that doing in there? And that. But that's where my block went. Hello, mushroom. You're in charge. Right, okay. My god, this is turning into a disaster. You know, I started a new world. This is the time of the video. It's ages ago. I really need to do flash track. I... You got a much better seed now. I was, that's what I was talking about in my video today about having good quality seeds. Oh, let's go over there. Right, how much gunpowder do I need? Uh, four, correct? And then I need some sand. Right, so I've got to scout around looking for gunpowder. It's a shame that creeper didn't drop any that blow up, in it? Oh no, you know what this means. I'm going to have to go and find a creeper now. That's never good with me. I know someone in chat is now going to say, you need a creeper farm, aren't you? That's what you're going to say. Aren't you all glad you missed this? You've all been like all week thinking, you know what, I haven't seen Mon for ages. I've really missed a good derp. You know, because everything in life has been horrible and uh, I need to watch somebody having a worse time than me. Or making an idiot of themselves anyway. Uh, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Nothing. Okay. I know what I know what this means. I know I know what it means, guys. It's time to go creeper hunting. Are you ready? I'm not. Um, I can't eat that. I want a fish. <laughs> Luckily, it's just about to get dark. And I have my fancy armor on, and we are gonna go and find some away from the village. Still attached up there. Right, let's go over here, because they normally like spawning under the trees over here, out of the way. There is a rogue escaped pig. No, you can't get in. Right. Let's go over uh, uh, oh, over here. I've said it before, you are fun to watch because I'm just as bad as you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> oh, sorry, Randy Cat. Chris is probably really bad as well. Let's not so mention anything. I think it just adds a little bit more of a dimension. I'm glad that, that my plans all go as I wanted, you know. I wanted to do like some building and all that sort of thing and then it's like, nope, didn't happen. Ha ha ha, ha ha. I see you. Hey, doofus. It didn't even drop any. Really? Are there any others down here? probably really dark on your screens now guys I do apologize right okay there wasn't a there wasn't a creeper down there and the only one I found didn't drop anything right let's go up here creepers oh look three of them oh look at those flowers why do they look like they're laid out in the shape oh my goodness how many creepers right let's just deal with these guys before they come up here Get off. You're not a creeper. Go away. Don't. Don't. 
leave the, the flowers out in a, in a shape going help. Right, I just need to lure one creeper. How comes he can track me from all the way over there? But Greenface here can't do it. Look, go and tell your friends to come over. Have I got, have I got his attention? Come on, come on. I'm in range. Ah, there we go. Got him. Come here, pretty. Where's your... No gunpowder. Really? You. Shh, dude. Okay, who's played with the mechanics of the game? Where's the gunpowder gone? There's another one over there. Where's the... There was four more than that. Are the options to drop in gunpowder that bad? Oh, missed. Aha! See, he's going to make up for it. Look, he dropped loads. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. I'm off. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> You have a bot in chat. Oh no! Do I want to be famous? Oh! Get off! You ain't you! I want. Do you want to be famous? Does anyone want to be famous? Hi, Mr. Geeky! Uh, you've joined me at an awkward time right now. Uh, Rainy Cat! Would you love to be a mod? Would you like the honours of killing. Ooh! The bot! Sorry you're late to the pie. It's alright, you've only watched me making a, a, an idiot of myself. <laughs> yeah. oh, get off. Right, it's everyone out the way and have I got time to write mod in chat? Oop. How do you spell mod? <laughs> do I have to do the at sign? I'm about to get killed, aren't I? Any minute now. Oh no, I don't like this. I'm just taking t t too long to write this. Oh no, I hear creepers. Ah! Get off! Back down, boy. Did that work? I did spell your name right. I didn't capitalise it. I don't know whether that worked. Who's creeping up on me? You. Right. Back. Back. Right, we'll grab that. Right, let's get back. Uh, do, 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 do. Hi there, Sagiki. Nice to see you. I've been uh, watching your videos of late. Oh, there's another creeper. Eh, eh, eh. Get out of the way. Ah, my that way, sheep. Yeah, I've been watching what you've been doing. Good stuff. Very impressed. But then again, you are a much bigger YouTuber than me. You're the boss, man. Right, okay, I think when it's daytime, I'll actually feel a little bit safer now. Oh. There we go. Right. I don't know, if Brady Cat, whether you actually managed to get add. Oh, the, the, the farm's working. Whether that all works or not. Let me know. Oh, no. You don't think so. Oh, okay. Let me have another go. Right, let's just pause the game. I do apologise for this. That's probably a more fancy way of doing this. Oh, that's weird. Why does it not do that? Can I just not, like, click on your name and sort of make you an admin or something? Oh, okay. I'll just destroy the other one while I'm here. Where are you? Ban. Bye-bye. Ah, there we go. Mon's worked out how to do it now. There we go. I killed him while I was at it. 
Uh, that's pure luck. I had a single successful video. It could happen to me. True. I've been making lots of videos and I'm still trying to do something. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the mess of me. I'm all hurt and everything. Who just got demoted? Someone just got kicked off because it was a robot. I think I got rid of the right one anyway. I don't want that. Get out of my inventory. Look, I've got junk. I, I don't normally do this. I promise. I'm cluttering up the place. What I need is one of those big fancy lava destroying machines for your bin. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. I was up there fixing this thing, wasn't I? It's very frustrating. I built this cobble generator and it ran for hours. I've got like a double chest and more. And then I literally just switched it on. But then Bob the building inspector, AKA, why did I come all the way up here? I haven't got my gunpowder. Um, a creeper appeared in the machinery. And then like a curse, he caused the hopper, no, the minecart on there to pop off the track and land on the side. So I've just had to dismantle that thing and try and get it working again. Um, so now I need to build a new bit of TNT. And like a professional that I am, I don't have any of the materials available to do this. This is the fun of live streaming. Normally you just go <coughs> cut scene, carry on. So, Mr. Geeky, I know you've um, mentioned about... You do loads and loads and loads and loads of videos. Uh, are you going to do any streams? I guess that's the question. Because... Um, you, could, you could come and stream with us. We're, we're all fun and exciting. What's your channel... What's your channel, Geeky? Oh my god! Geeky, please promote yourself. Mr. Geeky is like a star. He's a celebrity in the channel. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. You probably can't do that in channel, can you? Because <laughs> you haven't got mod status to be able to do that. Oh, here we go. Look. Just because it's you. There we go. Wielding the power. There you go, Mr. Geeky. You should be able to um, post a link to your YouTube channel in chat, in chat now. Potato soup. Hello, Iceberg. Oh, there's loads of people appearing tonight. Who have we got? Uh, Mr. Uh, Hellfire. Hello, sir, and welcome to the channel. It is a pleasure to see you in chat. Welcome to the hive, as we call it. Please feel free to hit that heart, uh, follow button and watch me go, ooh, what was that funny noise in my ear? Because it doesn't happen very often. Do, do, do. Iceberg, missed ya. Right, me, me, I'm repairing this. He's already followed. Oh, okay. Hello, and thanks for the follow. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a doofus. Right, please don't expect, you know, high quality content while you're here. Just, just ask the guys, they'll tell you. Um, Right, uh, I've got to get that under there now. This is not going to happen prettily, is it? Huh? Oh, oh, pro, pro, pro move there. Um, no, I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Eh. Where to? Hang, hang on a minute. Who moved me coral? Oh, I suppose that thing did. Can I silk touch that off there again? I should be able to, shouldn't I? Right. Oh no! 
Oh, it's blooming honey is so fragile. It breaks when you even when you look at it. There we go. Right, let's put that there. And oops, squat. Load that in there. And we'll we'll have to put up with the fact that there's a bit of honey block. Well I've got to come back up anyway. Because I can't get up again from here. Oh dear, dear. Oh! Um, I would love to do a stream with you at some point. I'm currently waiting for my new PC to arrive. Oh, I've been trying to sell a computer for ages on eBay and nobody wants to buy it. I mean, nobody realises they're buying it from such an amazing YouTuber and streamer. But there we go. Um, looking at setting up wired internet connection as my Wi-Fi is pretty poor. I'm also going on honeymoon. Oh, congrats, Mr. Geeky. Does this mean there's a... Uh, a Miss Geeky Gamer. That's pretty cool. Um, I, um, I've got an awesome... I see some other people talking about um, that in chat. I'm only, I've only got as far as engaged. Halo is waiting for Mon to get a job so he can pay for the wedding, basically. Oh, yeah, where are you going to go? Oh, this is all really exciting. I want to stop and read chat now. Let's... Hang Hang on, hang on a minute. Let me, no, oh, no, no, no. Right, let me read chat. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, Ethernet is easy to connect. Yep, definitely. Ethernet or router, yep. Congrats, Geeky. Oh, fantastic news, Geeky. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's just my PC is a long way from my router and I'm not sure if it would stick all the wire around my house. No, I have the same problem. So I'll tell you about my thing in a minute. How much is the computer? I have 70 pounds. Um, I was going for about well, actually, I'll tell you what it is in a minute. You t guys can tell me what you'd bid for it. Uh, do you know, you know the wizard powers. Um, I actually have Mrs. Geeky already. We got married and said, oh, I see, you're already married. And now you're going on your honeymoon. Excellent idea. Fantastic. Ex right. Um, I've caught up with chat now. I'm really bad at it. Uh, Wi-Fi. Right, okay. My first check. What do we want down here? Where did my stuff go? It's in one of these, isn't it? There you are. Get out. Right. So, I have had long issues over the past with Wi-Fi, trying to get it to work, never get the speed you want, and all that sort of thing. Do you like potato soup? I've never had potato soup. Honestly. Never had potato soup. Um, it is good if you can run a Cat5 cable around the house and do that. I mean, it obviously makes a lot of difference to improving it. However, as you're pointing out, it's not always that easy to do. So what I've actually done, why can't I reach that? Uh, it's probably because I'm standing don't be silly, Mon. You can't put that there and climb down. Eee. Wait. Uh. Right, hang on. Does that allow me to go down a half block and reach? Oh, come on. I can reach that. Really? Me? So frustrating cannot reach um what's what's in my emergency rucksack right let's have a look oh look i've got some blocks that'd be useful wouldn't it um yes mon that would be useful let's just use the emergency backpack thank you right and we will put that if we put that there can I now reach? No. Really? You're not going to let me reach from there? Okay. Okay, right. Can I have that back? Yeah, power line adapters. I've actually used power line adapters as well in the past. Uh, reasonably impressed. Quite good. All right, if you haven't got noisy mains in the house, like when somebody turns on the microwave or something, and uh, you get loads of weird noises, it's like, oh my goodness, what's going on? 
Right, I'm just gonna use my brain power here to like create a couple of slabs. Um, let's get that back. Oh, don't lose it. Can I get a slab halfway down? That's it, like that. Get halfway down there. Um, so I've actually used a bit of a oh score did it right I've used a different method of fixing my problem so what I've done is can't talk and do stuff at the same time I'm really sorry uh, that goes back in there as well these need to go back uh, that I need to pick up eventually thank you yeah, so what I've done is downstairs, I live in a, a masonette and my telephone connection comes in from downstairs. And what I've basically done is used that to, uh, or I've used a system where I can put my router downstairs but what I did is straight on the back of my router, I used a, what do you call it? Uh, a little hub that I've bought. And it's a micro tick hub. And they are fantastic, the abilities and the powers they've got. And what it does is it uses my, go straight through my router, connect straight through my router but I connect to it, so it creates like a little subnet between my router and the first MicroTik device. Now, if I put a redstone dot down here, button down here somewhere, I should be able to reload that thing over there. Right, let's do it on here. Uh, can I stick it on the back? Yep, that'll do. Right, let's just press that. Right, that works. Right, does it fire yes cool right that's working and then this I've got to remember not to leave on I've just got to go like that flick it on should hear one bang second bang hey hey working yeah, so the MicroTip router downs, uh, hub downstairs has got Wi-Fi on it. And it generates a two and a half gig link up to another MicroTip hub that I have upstairs. And I've positioned the two so they get a really good signal. I mean, I could do it with five gig and get a higher speed, but actually the two gigs quicker than my broadband speed so I don't need to worry and that way I get a really good link from downstairs to upstairs and then my upstairs one acts like an, a, an access point and effectively creates another wireless network area up here and the PC that I'm actually on now is connected straight to the back of it but it means that everyone in the house can get them and stuff like that yep I can send you all the details about it and do that um, please remind me I need to fix that water storm I do because I'm gonna lose blocks there aren't I which is gonna be a pain uh, so I'm gonna have to get in there and close the water off and sort that out right ah dear only 50 minutes later and I'm still repairing what I felt happened in the first 30 seconds of going live but there we go um, which one is it let's let's try and do that one but yeah it works pretty well I'm really impressed I've put it in and completely forgotten about it to be honest okay What's going on here? Why are you no worky worky? Eh. Maybe if I put that water strip. Maybe if I put that water stream in there. Are these solid water streams? No. That's not. Okay. That's why I bring two buckets. 
Let's put that one in there. Okay, what's going on here? There's some sort of magic going on. Some sort of weirdness in Minecraft, guys. Wait, come on. Block updates. Don't mess me about. One of you is doing it. Break the block, block and replace. I did. I broke that one. Replace it with something completely different, I guess. I, why am I doing it that way? What is going on? There is too much weirdness going on in the game. Alright, let's get them. Let's get that. Ah, oh, it's because that thing was added afterwards, wasn't it? It's probably messing up my whole water stream thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, that's dopey. Right, okay. Let's let's get in here and fix this. Right. Um, that block I might leave there, because that's underneath that thing. Can I stick another sand... If I put a sand block in this corner... Probably going to get blown up by the TNT. But that might not actually matter. Okay, that's freaky. What? What is going on with strange water? Put blood... Do you know what? I'm not going to mess around with water for the next 10 minutes in stream. Because <laughs> it's doing my head in. And stuff can just despawn on it. I don't care. Right. I want to fire this thing and see it works again now. Right. One hour later. Right. So. Hello and welcome to my stream. <laughs> <laughs> We're back again. Right, yes, I will send you the details, Mr. Geeky, of uh, what is it? What was that? Hope there's nobody in there. Chamber's clear. Fire. Fire in the hole. Right, that should start working now. I'll jump up there. Right, hopefully that pushes across now. Sorry, I'm not, I'm trying to like, fire one, fire two. There we go, that's better. Right, that's got that working. So anyway, I went AFK for ages. Please read my other message. Oh, okay, right, I've got to go back. Mon you derp, thanks. Use your pickaxe for the shoulder box, not an axe. Uh, you potato soup. Thanks, Iceberg. Harsh. Um, put block on second row so water flows into that annoying block. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back and fix it in a bit. I know. I, I, I know. I'm being stupid. Back to the beginning. What are you talking about? Anyway. So. I went AFK for ages and ages and I didn't drop that many blocks, did I? Really? Oh, okay. Um, so I went AFK for ages and ages and ages. I stuck these on the front because they're a really good way of collecting stuff out of them. Is that now full? Because look, uh, look how much. Look, look, you'll see how much it goes through. Look, watch, watch my uh, XP. That wasn't very much at all, was it? I made that sound better than it would be. That was not bad. It's not bad. And you can just like lock these now. And diling. You gotta love that sound, don't you? And this one, gonna have some. Diling. There we go. Don't they look a bit like faces like that? Yeah, they're like snotty, upturned noses on villagers or something. Yeah, is that is that me? Is that a weird thing? 
I don't know. Anyway, tons of, of uh, yeah, yeah, I made a lot of stuff. I was really pleased with myself. Um, I can tell you guys are not that impressed. Anyway, all that's being powered by the, the Dubri, what's it called? The Bandy Boo Boo Farm, that's it, by Iceberg. Uh, it's a patented farm by Iceberg, who, who helped me design and build it after lots of derps at the Bandy Boo Boo Farm. is supplying lots and lots of material, so we're very happy with that. And it's keeping the furnaces going, even though my system's now full up. So what I need to add is a way of exporting that all out into the mass storage and all that sort of thing. Uh, yes, I am. I'm in the UK and uh, doing loads of stuff over here. Bambi Boo Boo, not Bandy, Bandy Boo Boo, Bambi Boo Boo. I miss, I miss said it. Hang on, let's check the spelling. Mon can't spell. Bambi Boo Boo, there we go, okay. It's official. Bambi Boo Boo with help from Iceberg. Okay, I did it. I did a thing. So, what we were going to do, or what I'm at least doing for the next probably 45 minutes to an hour, was I wanted to start working on this area, which is the spawn area, and tidying this up a bit and starting to build all this in. Hello, Mr. Silly! Uh, yeah, guys, uh, it says down there, join Discord if you haven't already. Oh, is that your one or mine? I don't know which one he's talking about now. I've got a Discord as well, you know, guys. Please go to mine. Oh, that's mine. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Geek, he's also good at Discord. And uh, it's, a, it's a good one. He's a very lively lot down there. But yeah. I was supposed to say mons. <laughs> oh dear, what am I doing? I'm just wandering around like a blivering idiot now, aren't I? So yeah, I want to start building on this. I want to put a curb around there. I want to start putting some features in. I want to start working out where the roads are going to go. I've got nothing to make roads with. And that llama's still up there and really annoying me. I'm going to get killed at some point. Um, but yes, so this is going to be where people are going to come onto the server. So what I want is this to be somewhere where people, when they land right here in this little area, because this is the target, they go here. And they, they just look around, because that's what you do. When you arrive on a brand new server, I did that today actually, if you look on my Discord. And I looked around and I thought, okay, what, what do I do now? Um, and you sort of like wander off and you sort of like okay there's a there's a big machine uh, and there's like okay there's a chest is that what I want oh there's stuff in it um, looks like someone's building I better not touch any of that um, where do I get food where do I get armor all that sort of thing <laughs> it's weird some people so my mind is iceberg, ice chain, or iceberg <laughs> sink system. I know, I just call you iceberg, don't I? <laughs> just, I call everyone, I'm, well, I think it's an English thing. I don't know. Do you do that, Geeky? Do you call people by the wrong names? I don't know. Um, so let's move my bed around here because I want that. Iceberg baby. <laughs> I used to have my bed up here originally, didn't I? There we go. Spawn. Ice, ice, baby. Mega. Mega, what, as in mega iceberg? Icebergs. Is, is this, uh, oh no, you're not actually called iceberg, are you? I was going to ask why you were called iceberg, but anyway. So what I want is when people arrive here, for this area to embrace and make the new person arriving on the server go oh i feel safe i can like get food and all that sort of thing and if there's a food chest it's actually going to have food in it not like one server i turned up on and i got there and it goes oh food please take one stack only oh okay right click 
chest is empty. Well, that's not very helpful. Right, so that's what that's my plan. We need to make this an inviting area for our guests arriving on the server. So I'm going to go and get a load of stone from down here. So uh, how much should we have is not really a relevant question because I'm just going to pile it all up around the corner. Do I need this bit of coral fan? Would you like it? Would you like the piece of coral fan? Or should I just stick it on the wall? I'll just stick it on the wall. It'll look pretty. It'll go white in a minute. Meow. Pretty cat. Um, yes. I feel like I'm talking really fast tonight. Is that just me? <laughs> I'm just watching what, reading what people's comments are there. This is the eye. The eye. The focal point of the server. Come on. Think about it, guys. Makes sense. Oh, look at my lovely neat inventory I've got here. Isn't this fantastic? Um, I'm sure that was supposed to be in my backpack at one point, but there we go. Um, right, let's take four of these and make four stacks of them to start with. And then we'll come and do whatever we need as we go along. So, pathways. Will I be allowed to what on the server? Accums? I'm not sure what that word is. So the plan is for the server is anyone who is a sub will have access to the server and then there's going to be an elite group probably um, which are allowed to build in the inner sanctuary the middle area and everyone else can sort of build on the outskirts around the the borders of this great city that I'm building you see I'm doing really so 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 great so far thanks guys for your vote of a community that makes everything not sure what the verb is um company oh okay something like that so yes Let's get let's get to clearing out a bit of this space around here. Uh, we'll put a little stone. Oh, we need to get rid of that. That's a certainty. And if I don't leave a step there, I won't be able to get up in a minute. So some of you would have seen already that on my creative world, I've been messing around with some ideas of styles already and that's a floating post now I can't have a floating post it's just going to do my head in if I see that there like that but what sorts of things would you expect is the word I'm going to use to find when you arrive on a server what are your experiences? I mean, these are like not necessarily uh, servers that you're working on with other people. I mean, like closed servers. I'm sort of thinking servers that you just rock up on. What we should actually do is go and have a look at somewhere like Hypixel and see how they've done it. Uh, starter kit. Yeah, that would make sense. You'd want a starter kit, wouldn't you? I guess the game would have to know who is a new person. And you could give a new person brand new stuff when they arrive. And then anyone else who arrived back here, like by some misfortune or something like that, they could sort of come back here and go, actually, I, um, you know, was about to die or I died and I need a health pack. A rescue pack. That could be a thing. A rescue pack? What do you think? Right, so I just want to put some cobble around. Uh, cobble? This isn't cobble. Stone. Is that how I did it around there? I think it was. Uh, trying to reach out at the time. 
I don't remember what species my pet is. Oh no, here we go. Right, first of all, I've got to work out who's asking. So, it's not a banana. Your pet is not a banana, nor is it banana colour. Your pet is, in fact, a cat. There we go. Do I win a prize for that? See, you're shocked, aren't you? I remembered. I remembered. I'm not so silly. <laughs> Expect to be <laughs> greeted by confusing hub portals, rules and modifications that cause me to get confused <laughs> and find a more vanilla place. Um, well, the good news is, is I want it to stay vanilla. <laughs> but I do get your point. That is very often you arrive and you go, oh my God, there's banners everywhere. I don't even know where to start. So we need like a sign that says, welcome to Steamcraft. And then you go, uh, new visitors sign in here or something like that. Or over this side, we have, have you just died? Snigger, snigger, snigger. Rescue and emergency packs available here. So do something like that. And then give people pieces of information as they go. Uh, so what's radi What's the worst thing? Rady Cat's being called? Oh dear, I'm going to have to come back and read through your stuff later. Okay, so I want a wall here. So it's going to be classic, standard, boring wall that we need to put stuff on. Um, now we've got the building here, so I want to blend this into the building. And what I'm going to start doing is getting the earth and getting rid of this water. I think actually that's what I'm going to get in here and do first, because I'm just going to end up having a big accident with the water. And we all know what I'm like. Me? Have an accident? Never. God, this, this helmet has got really good vision under here. I'm impressed. And my breathing is lasting for ages. That was so worth the enchantment. Look at this. Oh, it's such a pro thing. Somebody shout when my bubbles are running out. Do, 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 do. I could be under here all day. I feel like Aquaman. Have a look. Look, I am Aquaman. Actually, I'm breathing out the top of my crash. Oh, oh no, I got stuck. Oh no, oh no, dirt. Oh dear. I know, let's build yourself into a hole whilst you're underwater. Well done, Mon. Expertise in gameplay yet again. <laughs> yeah, I had to bail before that. Things were getting dangerous. Alright. Uh, da, da, da. Have I got enough? No. Uh, there's never enough. There's never enough. There's got to be some up here. There we go. Look at that. Loads of earth. Oh! Get out the hole. All right, and can I break these ones and get back under there and fill this in? There we go. I have this thing with I can't handle like people building and just leaving a great big void underneath. Firstly, you've got to go and light it up and get rid of all the nasties that then want to come in and eat your face, and. It's just like, why, 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 why do it, right? Like, why, why do it? It's just, just don't do it. It's just not, just not the done thing. And it does my Swede in, as they say. Oh, not that I have a Swede-shaped head or anything. I think it's just a say, just a saying. Why is the dirt music playing? Who put the dirt music on? <laughs> oh dear.
It's like Pixel Riff at the moment. If anyone watching Pixel Riff, he's like making these mountains. I'd, I'd, I would be that person. If I was doing that, I'd be like, no, sorry, I can't help it. I've got to fill it in underneath. <laughs> Gaps under the ground. I mostly fill it with what is needed to prevent spawns. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. But I end up with a load of earth like this a lot of the time. And I don't do like big mountains and terraforming stuff. So you either bin it or use it. And I just feel so much safer that if I'm standing here and a creeper blows up, I'm not going to fall down for a giant void in the ground. And if I do want to go tunneling across here, at least there's something under there. So that that's my process. Anyway. Um, anyway. Ah. <sighs> and sigh. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Your name's really Iceberg, and you've been fooling us the whole time. Um, right. What was I doing? Styles. Styles of build. If only I had the pictures on the screen right now. So, what does everyone think of 116? Because there was no snapshot today. I was, I was surprised by that. I still think that's still the case. The last time I looked, there hadn't been a snapshot. I don't know if anyone knows if they've ch if that's changed in the last number of hours. You think it's potato soup? It's funny actually. I've not been blown away by it right now. I like the idea, I guess. I think the problem was is that the never the changes to the never were never get oh, never never. I can't say that. Why is that? Why is my arm breaking? Breaking? No, that's not good. Uh, I'm breaking and mending. Oh, actually, let's just use that one up. Who cares? So I think there was a great big lack of enthusiasm when people first found out that the Neville was going to be updated. Certainly, if you watched Minecon Earth thing, whatever they call it, there was like. Oh wow, that's exciting. And everyone in the audience looked like they'd just been slapped in the face with a wet kipper. And it's like, really? I thought they were going to come out with the cave update. Because I think everyone had hyped it up so much, that's what everyone expected to happen. And it just wasn't there. And it was like, everyone was just looked gutted by this whole thing. So... I think it was always going to be hard to follow an update that we didn't get. And with all the other biomes like Snowy or Snow and all that sort of thing. And everyone's been crying for the cave update forever. I would say that actually now having seen the Never, yeah there are some cool blocks. It feels a little bit over the top in places. I think it would have been nicer if it was a little bit more subtle. Uh, the amount that we actually got. Have I actually built this level at both ends? I probably haven't. I wanted to be one sh I think I did. I did a thing. I did a clever thing. I did. Look at that. I was actually counting while talking. That makes a change for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I saw a post today. I don't know if anyone else saw it. Did you see that we're going to lose pigment? I like the, yeah, the armour and the tools look really cool. And I think that would definitely be an interesting add-on. A lot of people are going, oh no, diamonds are useless now. Uh, they're not. You still need them to be able to get the stuff that you get in the never. And to add to that. Um, pigmen are just renamed. Yeah, I, I guess... But it's just something about they're changing the skin of them as well, so that they're going to have they they're going to be zombified. What are they called? Piglins. And why? I don't. I don't know. It didn't. I can't gel to the idea at the moment. PJC is my initials. Yes, that's correct. You are correct, Amondo. 
So I might have to do a little bit, a little bit of terraforming over here just to adjust this over here because I'm not going to build it all underneath. Uh, so can I call you Mr. C? Yes, certainly you can. I've been called Mr. C on many occasions. Um, I've been called a number of other things as well. Some of which are not allowed on a channel like this because I'm trying to keep it PG rated. I think some of those words started with a C as well. Hmm. Interesting. Um, right, moving swiftly on. We have ladies in chat. Don't we, ready cat? Peter Jarrod Carter. <laughs> you can't just make names up. You can't be just like, I'm just going to make up a random name. That'd be weird. By the way, I'm not going to build this as high as that one because that would look stupid. I'm only building it that high. I'm just building a bit of structural shape and things. And the next thing I want to do is I want to look at uh, pathways. No, that's definitely not correct. <laughs> I'm not a lady. I'm too filthy for that. Um, I think actually if you watch things like Pride and Prejudice you'll see that the ladies are not ladies. There's a difference between innocence and ladies. And I would date a lady every day. Uh, and I have done so. I've, this is getting out of... I'm, it's, I just did raise that bit. Oh no, I'm live. Oopsie. Sorry, Halo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, piglins. So, yeah, I, I would have preferred it if they'd sort of... If we'd have kept... A pigman. I always looked like a some sort of warrior from the underground that we didn't know where they were from or what they did. And now we've got piglins, and it's like, am I supposed to accept that piglins are now the same thing? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what to do with that information. For so long, I decided that they were their own breed, and that we were going to have this. Piglin, which was going to be basically, oh, I know, it's, yeah, like a, a, a human version of the hogs, I guess. That would have made sense to me in my head. And that's almost sort of how I was expecting it to go. But for them to then turn around and say, no, we've got rid of the pigmen, and, and they're actually zombie thingy, what's it? Uh, piglins. Well, it's like, where do piglins come from? I know the whole idea of Minecraft is that you're supposed to work this out for yourself. They don't tell you any of this. But I guess, for me, in your own mind, you spend time playing the game. And you, you come up with your own theories and ideas. And it's just, like, confused me, I guess. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. I've probably gone on about that far too long now. But that's me said. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to bring in a bit of edge to this. I think about there be far enough out. Because I want the path the paths to go out. This is going to be the main route of the city going out. And I'm expecting it to flow round in that direction towards the harbour. Because the harbour would obviously have quite a lot of materials. And we're going to have the shipyard and everything over there. So this would sort of open out in that way. This is obviously going to be a massive factory. Uh, which you're going to be spawning next to. And there's going to be different bits and pieces around here. Maybe like shops and housing and different things. Uh, what do you mean no progress? Cheek. I've been talking to the community. Thank you. Right. So I reckon. Yes, no progress. All right. Whatever. Um, I reckon we're going to build a path out in this direction. That'll come across the top of these. Of that uh, little thing. You don't need light for that, do you? No. 
come around the side of there and we're going to have like a, a big wall here. And this is going to be the star of the docks. There we go, have it in there. Uh, still not working. What, the server? Uh, maybe there's something happening you don't know about. Hmm? You thought of that? So, let's do a bit of a contour here. And... I want this to be sort of quite a, a shallow pathway down. So I think from about here, the first step being about there, the next one being just on top of the redstone there. So I'd have to build it so that it sits on top of the redstone. Sorry being away for a bit. I was on the phone. Did I miss much? Nah, just me waffling. <laughs> and complaining about um, pigmen, basically. And how I think they should be keeping them. In my opinion. Right, so at what height do I need? Because I need to build that height there. To maintain space for the farm. Because I don't really want to move it. It's, it's, doing, it's, it's doing its job. And I've run out of earth. See? So easy to run out of earth. There'll be loads of it somewhere. And there we go. I'll probably be, I'm only putting little bits in here because I'm going to be moving it anyway. This is going to be the floor. Right, so you'd come down off of the spawn airily. Are they actually, no, so I spoke out a term there really. They're not actually getting rid of them. What they're going to do is rename them and give them a new skin. And they're going to take the, the piglins, if I, I get that name correct. And piglins will have a zombie version of them. And the zombie version of the piglin is what is now what we know as the pigment. Did that make sense? Basically, they're just renaming them and reskinning them. I assume they're going to have exactly the same properties because if they kill gold farms, there will be absolute uproar in the uh, community. Everyone will go nuts. Be like, oh my god, we've only just rebuilt all these farms to get them working. So I'm pretty certain they wouldn't be silly enough to do that. That house is going to be off the edge here now. Or it's going to be behind this wall anyway. Uh, so that's my understanding of what's happening. Okay. Oh, okay, so they could just make a pigman mob and go with the zombie pigman. Yeah, I know. You see, you're going to start me off again. <laughs> Everyone in chat's going, oh my god, he's off again. Um, yeah, I thought that piglins were going to be like pig, uh, humanized versions of the hogs. That was my understanding when I first saw them. And pigmen are, are like a zombieized version of pigs. And we already have zombie villagers. And if they wanted to make zombie piglins, then that's a hog that's been turned into a humanoid version that looks like a piglin that's then been zombified. It's getting very confusing. And I think that's my thing. I, I, I do deal with change. I embrace change and I love change. It's just I'm as confused as a... I don't know what. I can't even think of a word for how confused I am. As for it making any sense as to what on earth they're doing with them. And what they're really... That's a sewer, by the way. Just in case anyone's... It's going to be a sewer. Right. So this is going to be... Who was it in chat that suggested about having a... Um, an inside boatyard thing? 
can't remember what that was. But this effectively is going to be the, the dock for a big ship that we're going to build in here. I'm confused. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing either. I'm doing a little bit of terraforming. Because I've got the building coming at work in here. This is the pathway. It's going to come down here. And this is going to be the dock walls around here. So I'm going to have to build that up around here. And we're going to be knocking this out, making this a big entryway for big ships to come in. Hello, Iceberg. Guess what, what, what? Pigs get struck by lightning, hit with a potion of weakness, and then eats a golden apple, then multiplies. But yeah, I know. Me, me, called for the floody boat thing. Aha! There you go, Rady Cat. So that's what we're going to be doing. This will be the giant area, big sailing ship coming in here with its goods and stuff and things and we'll have a dock area here on the back of these buildings and supplies coming in and then the smaller ships will come in on that side around there yep, so because I've, I've got to do all this stuff as well, yeah and I've got some ideas I've got villager ideas has anyone seen custom villagers? On the custom villager heads. Just wondering. Uh, no, you have to guess. I have to guess. You've made a potato salad. Because we normally have potato salad in, in chat. I'm just wondering. We have a user called potato, potato salad. I haven't seen him for ages. Potato. Where are you, my friend? He's called potato salad, isn't he? can't remember make a huge cargo ship and maybe yeah exactly a cargo ship um i built one similar before i don't know where to put sails on it i think steampunk means no i have to guess what what you just saw kfc map you may have seen a kfc map or you may not have seen a kfc map i'll show you this is not actually a kfc because um well okay yeah it is a kfc oh look you are correct that is kfc if you were the other way up right but it's not because this is kfc which is run by dinnerbone so it's like an anti-kfc i don't know where silky is because there was a, there was a surprise for her tonight and she hasn't turned up She's left me. My bee buddy forever has gone. Yeah, you did it. I guessed what? What, what? My God, confusing or what? What? Don't stop. You're planning to make a medieval cargo ship or a container ship. Chris, keep up. This is steampunk. So it's going to be steampunk themed. There's going to be this huge ship in here, which is going to be supplying cargo to the city behind me here and as such what's a steampunk Christ Christ please google steampunk right steampunk Lord of the Rings pretty good guess yeah 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 I like that I like that I love steampunk I think it's awesome google steampunk you get lots of pretty pictures of ladies and men and all that. It's a fantasy genre. Yes, exactly, Rady Cat. It's fantastic. With boots and leather and... I should really concentrate on the game. Um, but yes, it's cool stuff. And they've got like cogs and gears and everything's powered by steam. The idea is, is that um, there's no electricity, which there isn't. Well, there is. We've got redstone. Um, but put that aside everything's powered by steam and the stuff just looks really cool this is why I'm going with a little bit of orange the browns um, we haven't really got yellow in the game but yeah this is going to be bee themed steampunk don't worry about it you'll see what I mean eventually so hence why I'm bringing this in because it's got that sort of like metal look I think acacia woods looks a bit like copper 
I have yellow. What yellow? Well, I mean, there's yellow bells and there's yellow things. Right, cogs! Cogs! Yes! Cogs! E exactly! Cogs! See, someone's been watching my channel for long enough. There's cogs in the chat! Right. <laughs> Terracotta walls, concrete, honey. Yes, they're all yellow. I can't get yellow bricks though and yellow wood and stuff. I've got yellow lights. But yeah, we're going to go for a steampunk themey what's it thing. Everyone's excited. I'm excited. I don't know what to do now. What was I building? I was building this thing, wasn't I? Right, walls, pathways. So yes, main pathway coming in out of here. Runs across the top of this. Um, the so-called compound that people were referring to this last time will go and the villagers will be moving out soon. It's temporary accommodation. They'll be moving into their housing over here and being able to trade. Big shipyard, big buildings and the city will evolve. But these are going to be big market areas, trading and stuff and that's the key thing for the people that are coming to the server because when people join the server and come in here they don't know what to do everywhere around here is going to be buzzing with villagers trading materials you can get apples and stuff so a bit like i don't want to say like high pixel but the idea would be is you can come here get a starter pack got some money you could spend it buy some tools get some tools bits and pieces go off start building somewhere in the distance and if you want to come back here and do major trading if that makes sense yes buzzing with bees Ugh. why didn't i get a drink before i started this i feel like i'm really hyperactive tonight i don't know why i think it's because i'm feeling a lot better i've been under the weather the last week or so what if when the server will be open I make more advanced civilization like a few thousand blocks away yes perfectly acceptable you can build what you want wherever you want off in the distance and that's the idea I'm gonna build uh, I want this central area to have a four layered steampunk idea underground subnautical earth and sky so like the whole like uh, four element type thing i guess and because well, i guess fire would be down there i'm not going to build them in the in the never um and then you can build things off in the distance and they can be seen on the horizon i have my render distance up to about 30 on here have i got it well i've got it up to at the moment uh because I've got a pokey computer, uh, 25, but I can wind that up to 35, 32 quite happily. And you can see other builds in the distance. And that's exactly what I want. What's my favorite mob beside bees? Oh, I like the Japanese steampunk thing. Oh, that sounds cool. That'd look good in this stuff, wouldn't it? Um, favorite mob? You're gonna laugh at this, right? My favourite mob is the donkey. Right, that's. I'm waiting for laughter in chat. I like the donkey. Shrek, no, not Shrek the donkey, because I'm not like Shrek. I'm not that at all. I like donkey. I think he's awesome. I love donkeys. They tend to go wandering off on their own, admittedly. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy's awesome. I'm around when Eddie Murphy was Eddie Murphy. And the whole, um, oh my God, what have I, I've forgotten. The cops thing. Please, somebody in chat who's old and remembers. Beverly Hill Cops. I remember Eddie Murphy from that. Why have I run out of water? Oh, okay. Um, now I've forgotten what it is. More of a mule person, to be honest. Uh, uh, are they really that much different? Um, basically, I like them because you can put the um, 
you can put the boxes on them and all that sort of thing. And you can use them for like carrying extra stuff around, which is like pre-shulker type stuff. I came over here for something and I can't remember what the life of me, what it was. Oh yeah, I remember what it was. I wanted a load more earth. Because I've got a load of it in here. There we go. I got to do my house out as well. It's looking pretty shabby. It's obviously not dark. I thought it was. Use a donkey as a backpack. Yep. Donkeys are awesome. Imagine, right, you got your donkey and not only could you put like your ender chest in it with loads of stuff, but you could also put loads of shulker boxes in it full up with stuff as well. And then you could like go around with your donkey and now that leads don't break like this, because the donkeys used to break off the leads and go wandering off and you'd lose the stupid things. But now they can stay attached. You can take it with it. You can carry loads of stuff. Loads of stuff. I don't know if you can get a donkey in a boat with you at the same time. I've not tried that. But it does make sense. Donkey, shulker boxes, ender chest. I mean, it'd be like a creative world. Okay, you've got everything on and off the donkey. And you've got a donkey to ride. Which means it doesn't hurt or use any energy getting from one place to another. They're pretty quick. You can do that with llamas too. Yeah, they've all got to follow each other, haven't they? Pack of 10 llamas with one lead. And all the bo we'd have to do that at some point. That sounds awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. It does? Okay, he agrees. Right, so this area is gonna come around there like that. This area is gonna carry on on top of here. I'm just doing this because I haven't got long left now. My nearest and dearest will be home soon. And if you do hear the doorbell go, it's because I've got to go and let her in because she's probably forgotten her keys again. Right, there we go. So this wall will come around here. We'll build a nice wall to go along the edge. And this edge here will probably have a bank here. But I'm going to allow this to roll off back down into the natural terrain. This is going to be the farm area over this side. Try shorter attention spec. Hang on a minute. What am I missing? I request that when I join the server that I have a base in the reef, please. Right. I, I don't have a sign, but I'll tell you what, Rady Cat. How's this? All that is yours. How's that? You've got this massive coral area, which I know a number of times I've gone across this on the boat and you've gone, I love that. I love that. It looks beautiful. All that out there is yours. How's that? Deal? Yep, cool. Deal. I'll throw you a block. There you go. There's your first building block. You can, you can start with that. That looked pretty cheesy. But it sort of is the, the element of what I'm talking about. There we go. You've just bought yourself a plot of land. <laughs> or an ocean, anyway. So all that ocean out there is, well, technically yours, I guess. Can she import taxes on you more? Uh, impose taxes on me. Or import. Now impose taxes on me. Why would we charge each other? Um, I don't know. I guess. I guess there will be some sort of economy in the game at some point or another. That will take place and happen. Uh, that needs to be about there. That height. Running across there. Free trade. I like the idea. I think I would probably be the same. So I'm just going to put that across there, like that, just so I remember that I want to build that off of there. That will go over the top of that. And the house might get upgraded at some point. But this is the whole idea. The villagers are going to be moving in. And see, look, there's a lot of love over there 
from the villagers, even though they're getting angry, they haven't got any beds. But they're going to move in and we need to adapt. We need to start building the area up so they can live here. This side will stay pretty much the same, although I want to... What I was actually thinking of doing was actually bringing in some steps down and levelling this out so there'd be like an underground, like a basement to the city. That sort of thing. And I don't know how far to go this way or what to do around this side at the moment. I hadn't thought that far ahead, to be honest. What on earth is that in the water? Are they fish? Oh, they are fish. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what to do when I get round to this side. I don't know. Suggestions will come. But that needs to turn into a giant machine. And what else do we need to add to it? I guess is the question. So the wood farm here is okay. And I'm quite happy with the... What is effectively the charcoal generator around this side? I'm going to fill this in. It's been annoying me for ages, and I've got earth in my hand. There we go. Um, this will obviously be the back of this machine. We're going to upgrade this stuff under here, so we've got more furnaces, more processing, and yeah. We've got the iron farm. So yeah, there's going to be lots of building work here, and this is going to be like my big steampunk factory thing and we're gonna to have to get clay I guess for stone and bricks and all sorts of stuff anyway um, yeah what is your cat's name don't feel we know much about your cat right so what's my next project guys what do you want to see me work on next because um, I've got to go in about three or four minutes I want to know what's the next thing we're going to work on. Do you want to see me continuing to upgrade the farm and make it more look more like a factory and start to integrate it? That's option one. Option two. Do we start bringing the villagers in and bringing in the bread vill the villagers that we've got and start populating the shops and the farm and the little farms over there? Or, option three, do you want to see me finishing the terraforming of this area and the landscape and starting to build the wall around here for the giant dock? Okay. Options on a postcard sent to BBC at Pebble Mill. No, sorry. Um, answers supplied in chat. One, two, or three. Uh, cats don't sleep most of the day. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't catch your streams often enough, so I usually do as a stream three to three hours. So, well, all my videos get posted up on YouTube. Three, which was the terraforming bit, wasn't it? Yep, okay. We have a vote for free. Anyone else? I should put a poll in chat, really, but I'd love to know how to do it. I've got two frees. More terraforming. Okay. We can do that. And do I get do I get another do I get another vote? Number three. Meh, three. Fantastic guys. Right, we'll be working on the terraforming next time. Um I'm not sure. Also A or minus A. Eh, okay. I could do minus A probably as well. Um so what is my streaming schedule for the next coming week? So next week I should be quite busy during the day, every day. I've got quite a lot to do. I've been saving it all up because I've been a bit sick and under the weather the last week. Minus eight. Okay, I will look that up. And yes, I've got a lot to do next week. Wednesday's stream will take place as normal. I'll be a little bit more organised than I was today. I hoped to do a lot more tonight, but unfortunately something behind me went wrong, didn't it? What on earth was that, Chris? 100 thingy what's it? Ooh! Oh, okay. Um, right. Um, 
I do want to stream sometime in the next few days. Halo wants to jump in on that as well. She's going to come and help me out. So what we will probably do is we'll probably do loads of terraforming as part of that. We also need to get back to the end at some point and do a load more shulker killing and buying some more shulkers. Also, oh, oh what was that? I've just had a sub. Oh, hey, thank you very much. And thank you for the sub. You are fantastic. Thank you very much. And welcome along. And thanks for being a bee buddy. Um, so, sorry, I was, I was so excited then. I don't get that noise in my chat very often. Um, yeah, so the other thing that's going to be happening very, very soon is... Uh, I have you completely thrown me. Yes, Friday. Friday there'll be a video coming out. I want you guys to all be following me on YouTube. Watch out in Discord, I'll be sending the link out. There's gonna be loads of excitement because it's gonna be my very first video on how to build a server and how to get a Minecraft server up and running. And it's, it's a little bit weird and different. So I want lots of feedback from you guys on what you think about it and what it's like. So please watch out for that. I am editing it in the next couple of days and that will go out on Friday afternoon UK time. So that'll be there, ready for you to all watch over the weekend. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed yourself tonight. Sorry it was a little bit derpy and all over the place, but it wouldn't be one of my streams if it was any anything else. Love to you all. Thank you so much for the likes, the subs, the viewership, the everything that you guys are doing. You're making this really enjoyable for me. And I just can't believe that you all keep coming back and watching me, to be honest. But there we go. Uh, thank you very much. See you all later, guys. Bye.